2001, during the early days of the merger of AEBC and QN, the leadership of the new IEBC Board of Directors was faced with the decision about what to do regarding a future conference scheduled in 2002 at the Adams Mark Hotel. The NAACP had accused the hotel chain of systemic discrimination against African Americans, and there was a boycott against the chain. I think it's best that actually Ed Nelson tell the story of what happened and the leadership required for their decision. However, I can tell you that whenever I think about this incident, it touches me really very, very deeply. And um, I think about what we stand for as a profession, and the commitment to uplifting communities of color. So um, before we invite all of the members of the team, Ed, could you come up and just share a little bit about what you guys did? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I think the first thing I probably need to do is maybe set the stage. Um, I was brought up in a segregated society in Georgia. So what I'm about to tell you uh, was rather emotional for me when it happened. But I think it was important because it was at a time when two organizations for two different cultures coming together. I think it was important because what it showed me at this organization, IEDC, was going to work. And that's, that's the important thing. Um, Jeff Finkel asked me uh, to meet with my fellow African Americans to discuss the situation and come up with some, uh, some reasonable decision on what the organization could do or sh should do. So we convened a meeting in my room it was Ronnie Bryant, he's here. Bill Best, he is not present. Uh, it was Bob King, myself, and I think it was one more guy. That was it. And of course, um, Jeff asked me because I was the first African American chair of, of, of our organization. So I guess he thought I would come up with a reason. <laughs> I did because the penalty was serious. Uh, if we did not go to the Amherst Mark, we canceled the, the event. So um, I told the guys that it was no way, coming from Georgia, being a part of the civil rights period during that time, that I could cross that line. But I'm not going to tell them what they should do. You have to make up your own minds. We'll discuss it come to a consensus, but whatever the consensus you know, will be, I can't cross that line. So we decided to go back downstairs, and each person spoke about why, they, what they thought. And we had a consensus that we weren't going to cross the line. And I told Jeff that I would have to contact every African American that I know to not cross the line, because that's from my perspective, the right thing to do. Um, but I understood that the penalty was so great, I think it was like $200,000 or something like that. It, it was substantial, to say the least. So everybody spoke, and this was a defining moment. I get emotional about it because Kurt Chilka stood up and Kurt was a co-chair along with Jim Griffin. This was the first joint board meeting of our organization. Kurt Chilka stood up and said, Ed Nelson is my friend. And if Ed Nelson don't cross that line, I'm not crossing. And you'll see who Chuck Kilgore is in the South. He's a white guy from California. <laughs> <laughs> and then, to my surprise, now there's two organizations, first board meeting 13 years ago, to my surprise, another guy from California stood up 
And his name was David Spurt. And David said, I'm not crossing anything. Wow. So just think how I felt. At that point, I knew this organization was going to work. Then Jeff said, well, can you work with the NAACP and see if we can get this thing settled? So I said, sure, with the attorney. So the attorneys asked me to call the Adams Mark, which I did. The owner would not talk to me. The son did. And the son said, Ms. Nelson, please, would you all need to sit? I said, I can't. Let me talk to your father. He said, my father would talk to me. And uh, I said, well, I'm sorry. It's nothing I could do. So I went back to the NAACP attorneys, and I said, whatever you do, get us out of this contract. And that's what it so IDC, Jeff Finkel, it was Jeff Finkel's, I don't know if Jeff Finkel realized, you know, what the decision would be, but he had confidence in us. And he has been the right person for IDC, and he is still the right person for IDC because this organization has grown, and we have grown, I know I have grown, uh, personally and professionally. And I love these guys who are going to come up here with me right now, please. So, so please congratulate this team of leaders uh, for their choice to stand together and to stand up for the rights of others. The award winners are Ed Nelson, Director, USFC EDI, Ronnie Bryant, President and CEO of the Charlotte Regional Partnership, Bill Best, who's not able to join us, Kurt Chilcott, President and CEO of CDC Business Finance, and David Spar, Economic Development Director, County of Monterey.